The line begins. There's Ron back at it. Praise God. There's Stan over there. Took my parking spot today. He is in serious trouble with God. I'll tell you what. I'll bet someone even warned him too. <laughs> Here's the walk-up line. Look at all the food they've got to give out today. Thank you, Sal. Thank you, Cece. Great job. They are organizing the big freezer for weeks to come. We've got food that was in the back that now needs to come out. So that's what's happening over here with Josh and Marty. Either they're organizing the freezer or they're realizing it's much cooler to work over here. But here comes food into the big freezer. Thank you for the forklift, you guys. This forklift, Josh is an expert at it. And there's Marty down inside in the cold. They said they think this is going to take them about three more hours. <laughs> it is cool in there. Not cold like it usually is because it's obviously been open for a while. But this is a sample of what we keep in the frozen cupboard. Um, if any of you like palabok sauce, we've got some. I'll give you a box of it. I'll give you a whole box of that palabok sauce. We've got all kinds of good stuff. And there's Marty working in the cool right now. So the line just began. Walk-up line comes through this way. These are people turning around to get in our line right here. The drive through line. Always one of the sad things is people get in this drive through line and they think they're turning right. The people who haven't adjusted to it in the last two years on Wednesday morning or people who are just new in the neighborhood. And so we actually have to they convert this to three lanes on Wednesday morning with school going. And so this is the end of our line right in here. And we keep a sign down here to keep people from turning left off the road because we hate for them to get rear-ended and they're cheating ahead of all these people who are waiting in line. I would say from the looks of the line, it may be another week of running out of food. It's all packed. It's all ready. Yesterday morning, at this time, I was over a huge school of Dorado about 150 miles that direction. What fun. What fun out on the ocean, but it was over 100 degrees on flat, calm seas. I don't think I've ever been in 103 degree weather, 50 miles offshore, dead calm, not a drop of wind, just absolutely beautiful. And everyone else took care of everything. So I get here and I'm running through for what's for siempre. Morning. Buenos dias. Good morning. Buenos dias. Um, so the fence is keeping things lively along here. Some kids who used to party in here yesterday, they yelled at me, called me some foul names. So I walked over to say, hey, you guys, you don't have to be afraid. You know, come on, let's talk. And they flipped me off and they threw some stuff at me. I've just had that kind of week out of a few deals, so it was the kind of week where you thought, yeah, I better go fishing and get a little bit of that kind of stuff done, so. Here's our little free food in the morning. Um, little free food sign. First car already broken down this hot weather. That's what does it. I'm glad they were able to push it out of the way. Morning. So, the Pretty much coming into work here right now. There they are, the dynamic duo. Buenos dias, hermana. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Um, let's see if. Do you have someone to call to help you? Oh, it just needs a jump? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe after some people come through, they can grab a car and have one over here, okay? Okay. And maybe some, or maybe one of these people will be really nice to you and do it. If you see someone you know, tell them to pull over and come in. Yeah. <laughs> but once we've got everything going, we can bring something over here. See, whoever has to wait in line. So getting into our parking lot is the main challenge at a moment like this. If someone's car breaks down, so that's the issue. <laughs> I thought we could bring over the 
van or the truck the truck oh the truck's on the other side it's not in there let's hope that wasn't stolen I, I pulled up and said one of the ice chest is gone one of the other things the van has to be disconnected from the trailer to bring it over here so just kind of one thing after the other for us to want us to help morning arlene how are you today you're good i took yesterday off it was really nice it was really nice <laughs> Morning. How are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Everything going God okay? Bless you. Yeah. Oh, Maybe God bless you. There. Thanks for coming through. Hot weather like this, Thank buddy. You. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I went fishing yesterday. We were 40, 50 miles offshore off of Oceanside fishing. 103 degrees, not a drop of wind on the ocean. Isn't that insane? I fished my entire life at, out of Long Beach, and I've never been in that hot of weather while fishing. I don't know, but it was crazy, absolutely crazy. You go out there to get a little bit of refreshment besides fishing, and instead just soaked head to toe, no, no air conditioning. Yeah, it was a hot one yesterday. Everyone's coming through line. Every one of these, everyone's excited. Morning. And I think they're running just one car on one side of the line because just have one worker here until Josh and Marty are done over there. Stan, how are you doing, buddy? You know, I told someone not long ago I could paint that parking spot gold. I could put my name all over it. And there are certain people who still park. And this is Stan, the guy who takes my spot. There you go. <laughs> I'm so thankful for you, Stan. I'm so thankful you're doing okay. Been praying yes, for you. Thank you. Morning. How are you today? Hey, Pop, I just wanted to say hi. How you doing, buddy? You doing okay? <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Here's Pastor Ken, the hero of the story, yesterday and today. I found them there, gummy bears. That's what they were. Oh, okay. Uh, they're on They're on the list. I don't know where they're at. There's some oil cookies in there that are good though, 23. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, these, I haven't found the gummy bears yet, but I saw them on the list. Look at all of this good food packed by our packing team. Absolutely incredible food. Look at that. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. I think the pastor needs to have some of that for breakfast. Oh man, look at this. Peanut butter chocolate cake. One slice. That's about exactly how much I need for breakfast, Run. And here's a whole ton of food. Lunchables and food packs and jello and just crack an egg. You name it, we got it there. God bless you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, everyone. Okay, you're good. Don't let Stan work too hard, you guys. So these are the, the baskets that Ron will be replacing everything with, and I know they're making more baskets and more bags every week. So hopefully we don't run out today. By the look of the line, you saw it. It is long. But they'll keep it going. We'll get out of the sun as quickly as possible. There's the truck right there. Thank God for that big wrap. Last week, someone slowed down and said, can you give me the address of your information? I want to help. Just from the big truck. So that's pretty cool. There's, there's Josh and Marty. Way to go, you guys. Thank you so much. Incredible work. When they close that back up, it's time to start sweating again. So all the cars in here are just cars of volunteers. This is how many volunteers and staff we have. My car over there up against the parsonage fence. Cardboard already packing up the dumpster. This, in the last month, August, we had a $400 dumpster bill just to take care of the dumpsters. So it's all getting kind of crazy but kind of good. Thank you so much for your part in any time you would like to support our food memory, memory, buh, buh, buh. our food ministry, you can go to the number one, the number four, JC, that's 14JC.com. 
and you can go ahead and set up a payment to take care of things. You can also set up an automa automatic payment there that will just automatically withdraw without you ever having to worry about it each week. You can go to Facebook and see where I post this on my Facebook at Eric Denton or on Central Communities Facebook. And you can also give there. I'll have giving links there as well. You can just write a great big fat check and mail it to 5623 Arlington Avenue, Riverside, California, 92504. And that will get here. Remember in the memo to put food ministry, and it'll directly go to all of this food ministry, and Josh will be spending it in no time at all to make sure we have more food. He, How much did you spend yesterday, Josh? Uh, $300. Oh, Josh! <laughs> It goes fast, and we do that about twice a week now to get all of this food through here. Um, you can also go to Feeding America, Inland Empire, feedingamericaie.com, I believe is what it is. And you can make a donation there and just put that you want all the money to go to 1694. That's 1694. That's our partner number nationally with Feeding America, and we would love for you to be a part of donating to this good group that we so much of our food comes from probably 60 or 70 percent of it may god richly bless you today and everything you say and do stay safe stay calm stay cool in this heat thank you